The Bench Like Advice from Love Songs of Childhood. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit librivox.org. Recording by Squid Vajlakova. Love Songs of Childhood by Eugene Field. The Bench Like Advice. Speaking of dogs, my bench-legged fias had most of the virtues and nary of ass. Some folks called him sooner, a name that arose from his predisposition to chronic repose. But rouse his ambition, he couldn't be beat. You bet you he got thar on all his four feet. Most dogs has some forte, like hunting and such. But the sports of the field didn't bother him much. Was just a plain dog, and contented to be on peaceable terms with the neighbors and me. Used to fiddle and squirm and grunt, oh, how nice! when I tickled the back of that bench like advice. He was long in the borrow like a fice otter bee. His color was yaller, as ever you see. His tail curling upward was long, loose, and slim. When he didn't wag it, why, the tail it wagged him. His legs were so crooked. My bench legged pup was as tall settin' down as he was standin' up. He'd lie by the stove of a night and regret the various fiddles and things he had et. When a stranger, most likely a tramp, came along, he'd lift up his voice in significant song. You wondered, by gum, how there ever was space in that bosom of his'n to hold so much bass. Of daytimes he'd sneak to the road and lie down, and tackle the country dogs coming to town. By common consent he was boss in St. Joe, for what he took hold of he never let go. And a dude that came courting our girl left a slice of his white flannel suit, with our bench like advice. He was good to us kids when we pulled at his fur or twisted his tail he would never demur. He seemed to enjoy all our play and our chaff, for his tongue would hang out, and he'd laugh and he'd laugh. And once when the Hobart boy fell through the ice, he was drugged clean ashore by that bench like advice. We all have our choice, and you, like the rest, allow that the dog which you've got is the best. I wouldn't give much for the boy that grows up with no friendship subsistent between him and a pup. When a fellow gets old, I tell you it's nice to think of his youth and his bench like advice. To think of the springtime way back in St. Joe, of the peach trees a bloomin' and the daisies a blow. To think of the play in the meadow and grove, when little legs rassled and little hands strove. To think of the loyalty, valor, and truth of the friendships that hallow the season of youth. End of The Bench Like Advice